Let us stand to pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declare unto Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou in women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou in women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word became flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou in women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O most holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For for we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, and brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. May the souls of the faithful depart. Procedamos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today, we are celebrating the memorial of St. Charvel Macluff Priest. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, 
all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. pray. O oh God, who called the priest Saint Charbel Maclouf to the solitary combat in the desert and imbued him with all manner of devotion, grant us, we pray, that being made imitators of the Lord's passion, we may marry the co heirs of his kingdom, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the house, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you Judah, who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Reform your ways and your deeds, so that I may remain with you in this place. Put not your trust in deceitful words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. Only if you thoroughly reform your ways and your deeds, if each of you deals justly with your neighbor, if you no longer oppress the resident alien, the orphan and the widow, if you no longer shed innocent blood in this place or follow strange gods to your harm, will I remain with you in this place, in the land I gave your fathers long ago and forever. But here you are, putting your trust in deceitful words to your own loss. Are you to steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal? Go after strange gods that you do not know, and yet come to stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, we are safe. We can commit all these abominations again. Has this house which bears my name become in your eyes a den of thieves? I too see what is being done, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord. The word of the Lord.
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves say to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might root the wheat along them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel, we heard that the servants of the honor of the field were astonished when the weeds appeared with the wheat. And upon returning from the field, they tell him what happened. They say, the slaves, the slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? The owner understands with this. The owner understands the revenge, revenge of which he has been a victim. He answered, an enemy has done this. St. Thomas Aquinas, citing St. John Chrysostom, says that our blessed Lord points out the manner of the devil's snares, saying, while, while everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. He here shows that error arose after the truth. And the devil works in this way, for unless the devil sees somewhat to imitate and some to lay in wait against, he does not attempt anything. And St. Thomas Aquinas keeps saying, therefore, because he saw that this man bears fruit at hundred, these 60 and these 34, and that he was not able to carry off or to choke that which had been taken root, he turns to other insidious practices, mixing up his own wheat, which is a counterfeit of the truth, and thereby imposes upon such as are prone to be deceived. So from this teaching, we can learn to avoid a very subtle, subtle but real danger on the spiritual path. Because the devil, remember that the devil disguised himself as an angel. He is not going to appear to us in a way that we can go away, of course. He's going to present to us what we like. So from this teaching, we can learn to avoid a very subtle but real danger on our spiritual path. We have to understand that after we have generously resolved to seek perfection, the enemy can deceive us by diverting us from the true path with fallacies and appearances of good. If he succeeds, he may not lead us, us to manifest 
sins for the time being, but he impedes our own sanctification. So the devil is con contents himself with someone who has habitual sins. Not specifically mortal sins, but habitual venial sins. Because habitual venial sins impede our union with God, impedes our own sanctification. That this, this danger is real. We may know it from our own spiritual experience, which is painful. But even if we don't have this experience, the emphasis with which the saints warn us to be attentive to such a danger gives us to understand that it really exists. We can see, for instance, the pride that characterizes the spirit of the devil and the anxiety and restlessness that it carries in itself and lives in the soul when he managed to enter them. Confusion to hide the truth, arrogance about not to surrender with docility to the teachings of the church, to the teachings of the faith, and therefore lack of peace as the fruit of these two things. So we, we feel something in our soul, that something is wrong. So when our soul notices in these motions, when our soul notices in the motion it feels, or in the paths along which it begins to walk something of these characteristics, it has more than enough reasons to be suspicious and to discern through the examination of the conscience from when this spirit is coming from. Let us then learn from the saints. Let us ask the grace as Father Charbel, which we are celebrating the memorial today, to hate sin and its true causes. He even hated to mention sin. That's the teaching of the saints. All those who knew him testified he did not voluntarily commit even a venial sin. Oh, we are talking about voluntary venial sins, habitual venial sins. It was known to all that in his life he had never broken the Ten Commandments or those of the church because he loves the church, because he loves Christ. He suffered, however, when someone committed a sin. We can ask ourselves about the cause of it. The answer is because Father Charbel loved Christ. It is said that the Father Charbel is a saint according to the gospel, as Christ was his only teacher. Charbel consulted him and listened to our blessed Lord. He never tired of reading the Bible and reflecting on the life of our blessed Lord. Therefore, he imitated Jesus Christ and practiced the prayer, which grew by the pure water of the gospel. He practiced the virtues required to the, of the disciple of Christ, such as obedience, mortification, humility, love, and prayer. This is the, the Spirit of Christ. Those who are fruits, those are those of the Spirit of God. And we have to be sure that the devil will never lead us to practice such virtues because the devil will never lead you to practice mortification, obedience, for example, humility. And it's a, it's a way that we have to discern Am I, is this thing, is this particular thing that I know leading me to humility? Is leading me to mortify myself, to leave this thing that I am attached to? 
he did the, the, of course, we need to, we need to be prudent. Hmm? So those are the fruits of the Spirit of God. So let us then ask for the grace through the intercession of a blessed mother to discern the grace of the sermons of the Spirit. This is very important to grow spiritually. Discern from what spirit this is coming from. And ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to help us in this path in which we want to become like Christ. Amen. Entrusting ourselves to the care of the Father and the intercession of Jesus Christ, we offer these prayers. That the Lord may remain with his holy church and bless those who enter within to worship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the words of the prophets may inspire world leaders to deal justly with each other. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may bless with rain and sun the farms and fields where our nations grow food. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may help us to model his patience and love in our daily encounters and relationships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may show those who have died how lovely is his dwelling place. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, in your infinite mercy, please hear our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the one we offer you. 
through the divine work of human hands, you will become our spiritual dream and the city of forever. We are most free. Watch me look from my name. Please miss me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Saint Charbel, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. But as on the festival of Saint Charbel, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teacher, by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer your, to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and even sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Charbel, and with all the saints on, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself are your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind and meetings to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Are you are you singers? Are you uh, no? Okay. I singers, okay. The body of Christ. 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 the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Christ. 
body of Christ.
very soon this gets impurity. Yeah. Let us renew our consecration to our Blessed Virgin Mary. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, Espes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, exudes filii ebe, a te suspiramos, gementes et plentes, in ag lacrimarum vale. pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast of the day of Saint Charvel, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, some announcements. After the, the blessing, I'm going to incense the relic of Saint Charbel. And also, I will give the blessing. And the choir is going to sing hymns while I'm doing it. And after that, everyone is going to be welcome to venerate the relic of Saint Charbel. And I will be available also to hear confessions. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.